Everybody. It's Tuesday and I've got the latest update on working with the contractors and today's topic is communication or lack of communication. So anyway the walls are up and the waterproofing is on and the footings are exposed and the building inspector informed me that I have to either put a loose drainage sand up against the wall or dimple wrap and i chose the dimple wrap this is it here called delta ms and uh, i think it's delta moisture system or something like that so i'm going to wrap the walls with that and you can see that the um, dimples on here which go against the wall allow any water that gets in there to drain right down to the footings into the uh, weeping tile and out so that was the plan and uh, then i got a, an email from uh, the contractor and he said well i've just dumped the load of gravel covered the footings my response to him in an email at that point in time was oh great i was going to put dimple wrap down tomorrow and to my surprise he responded he said oops sorry you'll just have to shovel it off so a great example of working with contractors they kind of do what they want on their own timeline and they may or may not tell you that's what i've learned so far so i've started digging it out and you'll see i've been at it for a little over two hours i've had to dig all the stone off I've gone all the way around and I've got this one side left to do. I'm digging it with a shovel. I'm trying to be careful not to scrape any of the uh, waterproofing or scratch it. And it's not easy. So this is where I'm at. This is the back side here. Completed it. And now I've just got this one little stretch to do. And there it is, mostly done. I'll have to get a good stiff broom and come down and clean it all off. Get the little bits that I left on there. A job I really didn't want to have to do. <laughs> anyway, we're going to try and put it up. It says two people can do it in an hour. Not these two people. No chance. <laughs> anyway, we're going to give it a go. I um, didn't have a gun because you have to use uh, cement nails and I tried to rent one and the rental places just didn't have it. So I didn't know what I was going to do and my good neighbor, he offered me a power gun. So you put a charge in, put each nail in separately, put a charge in and shoot it just like a gun. So we're going to see how that goes too. 
So we're putting up the dimple wrap. You can see we've uh, come along this wall pretty good. Uh, it's not easy, it's, it's hard to handle. And we're short. I didn't buy enough washers. So you're supposed to put a W pattern. I'm just going along the top and later on we'll come back and add the next one. It'll be easier because everything's in place. I'm using this gun here, which is a Remington and it's a powder gun. So these are inch and a half nails, cement nails, and they go in there and I'll just push it right in. And then we take a charge with a little bullet and it goes in here. And we close it up and it's ready to go. Makes a loud noise. Anna's got Kleenex in her ears. I've got these things on. And of course it wouldn't work without a washer. So we pump it right into one of these washers. So it's usually pretty hard to handle. We're at a corner and it's holding itself up. So that's why we're filming this because Anne is free to film. This is, I'm getting better at it. You have to plunge it in. This has to plunge in and press the trigger. Because if you just press the trigger, it won't go. You have to plunge it in and press the trigger. Into the, at least four inches back from the corner. Two inches below this. So somewhere in there. And here we go. Here we go. That's it. <laughs> Get a close up of the washer. That's it. There was uh, three days of rain starting on Friday, so Anna and I went home and uh, waited it out there. Now we're back. We just got back. This is Monday morning and uh, we're checking out just what the rain did. I'm going to walk down to the water. This uh, small lake we're on is fed by a river and that comes out of a much bigger lake, but that lake is only fed by surrounding marshes and little streams. So sometimes the water can get low here. But with all this rain, I'm expecting the water to be way up. Hannah's already down here checking it out. Water's up for sure. The rocks right in front of Anna there are usually exposed. And there's a whole line of rocks right there that we usually walk out on to the end. So the water's up pretty good. That's the river down there that comes from the north that feeds into this lake. And this lake exits into another small lake out into another river.
we're into July now. We just came, I think it's July the 3rd. We just came back up today uh, to finish off some things with the foundation uh, because we have an inspection coming up in a few days for what's called drainage and foundation inspection. So we've got, I think, the drainage in order. The three-quarter stone is in place all over the weepers, six inches above and around the weepers. So I think that's okay. And the uh, wrap here, the dimpled foundation wrap, Anna and I put it up uh, last time we were up here. And we put this flashing or trim around it. And the way I read the instructions were you had to put flashing anywhere where it was below um, ground level or if it was uh, close. So we put it on this side because it will be close to ground level here. And we put it on this side also because all that backfill has to come in here and there'll be a big machine putting it in and dirt could get back there. So I thought that was good enough, but the building inspector said no. The Delta instructions suggest that we do a W pattern with this nailing pattern and put flashing all the way around the building. So 24 inch center here and then it's 12 inches to here. So the top row is 24, the bottom row is 24 and I've got to do the W all the way around. Hopefully that will pass inspection. So Anna and I finally finished all the flashing around and we did the W pattern all the way around and a couple extras along here. Um, wait a minute, I'm still wearing my protective goggles. They're actually badminton goggles, but they're the clearest ones I've got. We finished, but there are some gaps and the whole point of this stuff is to not allow dirt to get down in behind. So we have to fill the gaps with this uh, sealant. It's kind of like a tar substance. And uh, it's messy. We'll do some of that now. Here we go. 